Charlie Company is now free to move out. May 8th, day 38. Despite a massive Japanese counterattack, American forces are inching forward against the Shuri Line. RV Bergen's 5th Marines Kilo Company is again pinned down by a cleverly concealed enemy. Artillery strikes are called in. But every time the troops attempt to move, they come under fire. The artillery is having no effect. I couldn't figure out why that that artillery wasn't doing the job. And I finally decided that artillery is hitting the edge of that ridge. And they were down behind that. And whenever we'd start to move out, they would come to the top of it after the artillery quit firing. Because the artillery fire comes in at a shallow angle, it can't reach down behind the ridge. So I decided that I would pepper it with the mortars, because they'd go up and come straight down. They'd get places that artillery couldn't touch. Bergen conceives a plan to use the mortar guns to drop shells directly on top of the hidden Japanese. But he doesn't know for sure that they are there. Under strict orders to conserve ammunition, his unit's rookie superior officer objects to Bergen's plan. Scotty, when he found out that I wanted to fire 20 rounds per gun, he just raised hell. He went, no, we're not going to fire that many rounds. He said, we don't have the ammunition. Bergen's so sure of his hunch, he defies a direct order. And I said, fire. Scotty, come on, Blue. I'm telling you the truth. Even though Bergen can't see the Japanese positions, he patterns fire from three mortar guns to create a lethal kill zone. It should trap any Japanese behind the ridge. When the mortar barrage is complete, the company gingerly moves out. When we moved out, we didn't have any resistance. And uh, I went up and crawled up on top of that ridge and looked and I counted 53 freshly killed Japs. They were trapped. They didn't have anywhere to go. I guess we got the whole crew. Bergen's Kilo Company's success is not universally felt. Overall, the US 10th Army is being decimated in what becomes known as a blowtorch and corkscrew style of battle. Every cave, every pillbox, Every hidden Japanese machine gun has to be cleared out with satchel charges and flamethrowers. Every inch gained is paid for dearly with American blood. But worse is to come. The Marines' nightmare, the notorious Sugarloaf Hill.